Hi guys, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build and today we are going to build a whole little town. Well, it's a village kind of town, medieval, very European of course and it is also just a micro home. So that was something you guys requested, seriously that one took me 30 hours or even more and it's definitely very elaborate and has lots and lots of tiny little details but i'm sure you're gonna love this and yeah without further ado let's get started so hello and welcome here we are in windenburg which is a world that you get if you have the get together expansion pack and this leads me to the first thing that i'm going to say about this build it uses i think three packs it will use get together heavily because with get together you get these huge like these cute timber framing wallpapers and all this kind of more medieval looking stuff and i just thought okay we need that it's also one of my favorite expansion pack so if you don't have that and if you are into building or more into the medieval kind of stuff uh, it also like the gameplay stuff that comes with it's just super cool so it's definitely one of my favorite expansion packs so if you still think about getting some new packs for your friend for yourself get together is one of the best in my opinion so yeah we are going to use that and then uh, as well later on we will use a tiny tiny bit of vampires because some of you asked for like a tiny vampire house and i thought having a vampire in a little village town is cool let's just use that and also uh, seasons but you actually only need base game and get together for it to look like it looks basically like 90 percent 95 percent i would say so you could already see me putting down some terrain paint and of course a church. I have the tiny residential lots trade activated so I can see how many tiles I have. And uh, this is because um, some of you challenged me because since the tiny living stuff pack came out, build something that is huge with your trick. For those who don't know what trick I'm meaning, I did a tutorial about this, how to trick the game into having just like a micro home, you know, just 30 tiles. This one is just 30 tiles, the whole lot, the whole village. And yeah, just look it up. I will also link it in the description and in the info box and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we are not going to into detail how I exactly did this, but basically what I wanted to try is to build a whole little village with lots and lots of tiny little houses. And then I came up with the idea of having like a medieval kind of European thing because I am German and this is how still some of our villages and you know, town centers i would say look like old towns um and yeah i thought uh, at least i've seen these kinds of things like on a regular basis and um yeah i just wanted to recreate something like that because i just thought also for gameplay it's a little bit more fun your sims can live there they can have like up to like multiple people and control them in this little town and village or maybe even have like a little story it's also beautiful for just like a video backdrop if you are into making videos with the sims or just photo shooting and stuff like that i mean they're so different play styles and I just thought that like having a little town makes it, yeah, very usable for multiple occasions. Also, this can be set to a bar, I think, and a cafe. And so if you have to get together, you can have a cafe. And here you could also see me like putting down lots and lots of little tiny, um, you know, uh, boxes, basically. So I just knew where I wanted to have these. Um, houses and then later on I went in did the whole roofing did the whole you know deleting the actual rooms and then just putting the walls in singularly which took about like five hours or so I hate my life at this point I was already like I want to be done with that I hate this build already it's taking up so much time so yeah um always when I did that I marked the house with like this orange terracotta wallpaper 
so I know which ones I still have to do. And you can see that the counter is already back to zero. And yeah, basically it was lots and lots of time to fiddling around <laughs> all on these roofs. And yeah, here we are um, doing the wallpapers, which are from Get Together because they're just beautiful and I love them. And while I was tweeting that, like I, I usually tweet like about my progress, um, I put some tweets out, I also post that on Discord, of course. And uh, you guys, like this tweet blew up, like everyone was like, oh wow, this is so amazing. I was like, well, it's just, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just tiny little ha I, yeah I mean I'm happy that you really liked it but this blew up I mean didn't I do already like a town thing I'm not even sure I mean I'm doing this for such a long time that I sometimes can't remember what I actually did already I actually I'm, I'm sure I did like a city kind of did I I'm not sure but yeah, write me in the comments if you want to see something crazy, but uh, keep in mind that videos take a long, long time, especially these kinds of builds, because it's very fiddly to do, it takes up lots and lots of time, and I actually have like a real job, you know, like this YouTube thing is definitely not my like full-time thing. So <laughs> I have to get back like from work and then build a little on it and then, you know, have like real life stuff you know, adult stuff, like cleaning the house and so on. So it takes me up to lots and lots of weeks sometimes uh, to get stuff like this finished, like I like it. I mean, I could rush these things, but then they aren't as detailed. And I love building very detailed, like very lived in with lots of clutter. There are little knickknacks and nooks to explore and find and have like little stories behind them. And yeah, it's basically, something like and this is the way I just like to build and this is how it brings joy building to me because um, it doesn't really matter that it takes so much time it's like having this at the end and I'm like oh my god it's so beautiful and I built that myself you know that kind of feeling is the thing where I'm usually oh my god this is very rewarding and this was one of my most rewarding ones usually the really big elaborate builds are the ones where I'm like oh yes this is why I'm building the sims oh I love this game so much <laughs> but uh, yeah usually um, it's lots and lots of tiny little things that you have to do so yeah like uh, just how would I progress these things so I did these little hills because I knew that I wanted to have like different heights of the houses since we can't use foundations because of the tiny residential thing um, because we technically don't have any rooms uh, I needed some levels here and there then I put down the like rough shape of the houses I painted the houses then I put in the fences and whatnot and then later I do the landscaping so at this point there was a lot of landscaping because I wanted to have different sections you can already see here I have um, a little church and a graveyard um, where the you know vampire will live later on and then I have a little farm section with a windmill and a barn and I also thought this is when I was thinking about okay what do I need in a like tiny town and then I was thinking about Stardew Valley which is a farming game and it was very very popular 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 that's a weird thing to say in english sorry but yeah um and i was like okay so usually you have like a smith you have like a woodcutter kind of lumberjack guy you have a flower kind of person you have a farmer grocery store kind of person usually have a um library bookstore you know or like a scientist thing and yeah, this is basically what I wanted to put in here as well. So there are like lots and lots of tiny little houses and they all kind of serve a purpose, so to speak. Kind of in a, you know, storytelling way. So if you want to play with this, there is at the end like a little hotel, there's a tavern, there's an inn, there's all these things that I've already, like some shops of course and a cafe. So there are like lots and lots of stuff to explore and here you could already see me putting down my 30 tiles which is the upstairs of this one house the other houses don't have upstairs because i have to make sure that it's still a micro home and it's not possible to have like the second level you know because it is a floor plate so it counts to the tile counter that uses up the tiny living thing and for those who are still confused why i do that actually because if you have the tiny living stuff pack 
and you build the micro home lot like with under 32 tiles then you get so many buffs and like um, basically your sims are super OP because all of the buffs that this lot just living on this lot playing on this lot gives you is so OP it's like overpowered as hell you basically it's like cheating <laughs> I don't know how to explain this but it is super cool and you definitely want that so if you have the stuff pack the tiny living stuff pack you want that to have you know you, like there is no denying that these are just amazing and I hope they don't get nerfed because I just love them because I personally hate playing The Sims because they're kind of like really dumb little shit sometimes. Sorry, but it is true. Um, so I'm like, Ugh, why don't you do that now? And like they're always so whiny and emotional and I basically always cheat them happy all the time because I don't, I don't care. Um, but with this, you know, buff, you really want that to happen. You really want to have that in your game. So it makes it so much easier, even for me, more bearable to play with them. So yeah, this is what I wanted to have here. And this is also like the last challenge build, or at least like, not like challenge build, but tiny build, because I really want to go back into just not caring about the tile counter, um, because it takes lots and lots of time to not use the room. Uh, feature in the build mode because you can't drag and drop and stuff and it's just it takes lots and lots of time to put the walls in individually it kind of reminded me of sims 1 building back in the days that was kind of like lots and lots of time just putting down walls like singularly and stuff you know so the sims 4 build mode is definitely the best build mode that we have in the, in the sims franchise so far just my opinion there are different ones but in my opinion it is definitely um, so yeah, so I made this was also like the first um, house that I did and this is like the house that I personally wanted my sim to you know live in this is the house of the main sim so to speak and then for myself i wanted to have like a smith and like you know different people who then live in like different houses so i can play it as like a little tiny town that i can control everyone in and i think there's even like mods that you can have up like more than just eight people in one household living on one lot so maybe with that you can even do like a whole crazy full-on blue town if your pc is like okay with that because I'm pretty sure mine wouldn't also while I was building this and like especially after adding in all the landscaping my build mode was kind of slow so uh, I can imagine that on laptops or something you know along those lines or older PCs this will have some you know it will work but be prepared to wait some seconds before something happens <laughs> it is it definitely takes up some time but yeah um i like that whole thing about the tiny build because i could do so many different builds in just one build so here we are with the church and of course this is the church of my lionfish god for those who are new to my channel we worship the lionfish god quite a lot and i wanted it to put in but the lionfish only comes with the um outdoor retreat pack and only with uh, like there's another version in the island living pack i think it's called the solani pack you know the tropical one um and i only wanted to restrict myself to like a couple of packs because this is like an issue that now that we have so many packs i don't want to use all of them um, because I wanted to look like for a lot of people and I just assumed because seasons and vampires and get together are like quite famous you know packs like they, these are really really good packs and lots of people have them I just assumed okay we're not going to put in like live fish but I set it up for um, a wedding so you can have like a wedding in the church chapel kind of thing and I thought that's pretty cool and here we go with the little graveyard next to it of course and there's also a little crypt and this is where I'm going to put in like the the vampires what is it called tomb coffin thing um and uh yeah first i didn't want to do that because you definitely need like the vampires uh you know pack for that but if you don't have the vampire pack for example in this case let me just explain real quick you don't really need the pack for the lot to work you just won't have the objects from said pack um so you can download whatever you want from your from the gallery but the game automatically will delete some of these objects because you just don't have the pack for it but 
um, you know, and sometimes it will, it will replace them. For example, a chair. We have, of course, lots of base game chairs. So if there's like one specific chair, for example, the vampire prank, it will try to just put in like a base game chair for it. Just so you know, this is how it will work. And this is also why you can download all of my builds. But uh, yeah, like I said, they will look a little, a little bit differently, of course, but I used heavily the get together because it's just such a cool, yeah, it's just one of my favorite expansion packs, just, just putting it out there, it is. Um, uh, we would already see the little village uh, kind of um, overgrown hat of like the flower keeper, flower shop in keeper. I just thought it's like a more female kind of thing. And here we are with the smith. Or the is it called the Smith? I think yeah, like the Smith guy who does armor and swords and stuff. And I thought that's like pretty cool. So he has like huge chimney and a huge fireplace, just because we can. <laughs> and I just thought it looks really really cool. We need that. And here we are with the tavern in kind of thing. I just thought, of course, they need like kind of like a restaurant set up outside. There are a, a tiny, like a little, there's a little terrace with like some um, umbrella tables, you know, where they can sit outside and eat maybe. And inside it looks a little bit more like a pub, I think. But uh, yeah, I thought these things are really, really cool, especially since Get Together came with so many stuff that is kind of more medieval ish and like a little bit more cozy. And I just assumed because the castle, the tiny castle that I built was really like lots and lots of people were into it and they were commenting on that they really like to play with princesses and like medieval stuff, you know, fairy tales, like recreating fairy tales with their sims. I just assumed, okay, why not have like a whole town? And then when I posted like an update of this build, because it took like so much time and I was like, okay, here's an update on Twitter. Here has a Twitter update. And like people came up with lots and lots of ideas what it should be because it was like when I was building it, it was not based on anything. But then people were like immediately, oh my God, it looks like the little town from Beauty and the Beast, like the Disney movie. And I'm like, ah, better watch that sequence again. Maybe there is some things that are inspiring. And I did. So there are uh, some things that you can see in the little town song when Belle like in the beginning like goes to town and like reads the book and stuff I don't know sings to little sheep <laughs> um that thing um and so I thought okay we can th that's definitely looks like this so if you are into this whole Disney princess kind of gameplay here you go this is actually quite a good example of how these things can look like and I definitely like the more production designy builds more than just one house so that's something that I really enjoy here but it takes up lots and lots of time here by the way um, I get distracted this is the hotel there's no upstairs so I just put in like two two kind of very uh, same like hotel rooms in there I just thought okay maybe this is the hotel and um, if I would have not used the tiny lot trait I would have like an upstairs and I thought maybe downstairs there's just like the major's office that you would have like for you know in games like time 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 at Porsche or like Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing you know these kinds of things where you live in a little town and can interact with the townspeople um, it was definitely more inspired by these kind of setups while I was building this um, until I got like the Beauty and the Beast tweets or like comments on it here we are in the barn and uh, there are some toy horses sized up because it's a horse farm. No, I mean, I didn't have any cows or sheep or something like bigger animals. So I was like, hey, then maybe we have like horses. It's a horse farm, why not? I mean, it's, it was just because I don't have any other animals that I could size up or toys that I could size up that look like animals that I could put in there. So it's the horses now. I'm sorry guys, but if you are into other things uh, you can delete them and put something else in there here we are in the windmill there's a little windmill on the side um but i wanted it to look kind of like an empty windmill i absolutely had no idea what to put in there so i myself put in like a little thing that kind of maybe looks like the interior of a windmill like this little fountain and like the pole thing for the 
mill part of the windmill. Um, and then I just put lots and lots of boxes around so your sims can actually not go in there. And then I was on the farm part, so there are some splashes of earth kind of thing. You know, the thing, I don't know what to call them, but these stripes <laughs> where you would plant stuff on. Um, and this is when I started to go into seasons because the seasons expansion pack is one of the most bought ones I think that the developers tweeted that at one point I was like, okay, yeah, makes sense. Lots and lots of people are into seasons So we have the pumpkins from seasons. We have the scarecrow from seasons. We have the beekeeping The bee thing, you know, the, where the bees where you can make honey <laughs> And also the flower arranging is in the barn then and I just assumed that's like a cool little idea to have like a little pumpkin patch because we definitely have no flowers or anything like that that looks like wheat or something that you would grow on and I wanted to have something already built on there because I want you to delete maybe some of the pumpkins and then grow your own crops on there if you want to have that. I'm personally not one who likes gardening in the game so I always put some stuff in there for myself. So here we start with the little shops around this like town square. We have a flower shop and then on next to it there is a ceramics porcelain kind of shop because I was really thinking about just using base game and you know get together. So I was constantly looking up things that we could put in there. Then there's a little boutique kind of thing where you can buy your clothing. And it was definitely fiddly to do, but I liked how it turned out. You know, it's a little bit more medieval. But since we don't have mannequins and stuff, I didn't want to use Get to Work because Get to Work comes with retail and that would have made it to a retail lot. But then again, uh, I think it's also possible to build these kind of things just like as a background, you know, just for playing and exploring. And there's so much more stuff because I had to heavily cut this video, of course. So here we are in the farmer's market grocery store. I just assumed that the farmer has of course a little store where they would uh, sell then sell their pumpkins and you know vegetables and whatever they grow up there we don't have so many items so i just used lots and lots of these fruit bowls and the pumpkins and uh, seasonal decorations <laughs> it's because i didn't know what to put in there also some milk jugs or whatever these are called um and yeah some boxes to my kind of make it look like a farmer's kind of market thing I know, i'm not sure yeah I think it makes sense if you look at it later in the video tour, of course. And here we are with the cafe because I thought, okay, they're definitely not in the cafe because the inn and the tavern thing is so much far away. And they definitely have like a gathering kind of eating thing in the, in the town square. So here's the cafe, which is a little bit more posh, but still medieval-ish look, you know, like it's, cr it's crossing the line because definitely the only cafe thing that we have looks kind of very, um, let's just call it not futuristic, but definitely looks like this tiny present, you know, so I try to, uh, yeah, kind of make it look a little bit more, like a like a medieval kind of thing um but it's definitely could also be like from our time if you know what i mean and here we are in the bookshop which is also maybe a library you can change it yourself you know there are no counters really and since in the beauty and the beast of course there is a bookshop i thought we need that because people apparently really are looking forward to build with this or play with this as beauty and the beast so there you go, this is the town from Beauty and the Beast. But it wasn't really, exp like, it's not the same layout of that. Like, it's not a recreation of that. It's just a medieval town, like I have here in Germany. Sometimes they look like this, of course, with lots of timber framing. Um, I, for example, passed some of these houses that look like this on my way to work. And I think on one it says, just so you get like a perspective, it says 11, 19 so it's like from the 12th century it's really really old and uh, yeah i wanted to recreate that have like lots and lots of different kind of zones for your village town kind of thing and here we are already in the video tour uh, so you can have a better slower look at everything because of course i had to heavily cut this video down because 30 hours 
still if I speed this up five by five yeah just do the math and this is like a 30 minute video so I had to cut a lot here and like the editing was also again four hours or something <laughs> but yeah here we go this is my tiny little town and it is beautiful I also put the little you know the time the town square fountain is basically the sims anniversary hot tub for those who don't know we just celebrated the sims anniversary it's 20 years old now the whole sims franchise and they gave us this hot tub and i thought it looks kind of like a little fountain thing that we could use if you put down like if you push away the little um, benches and maybe delete the fountain in the inside you can use it as a hot tub in the town square and do like some skinny dipping in the town square. <laughs> I think that's funny. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that later. But yeah, here we go. This is, uh, the, there we were just with the farm and this is the town church and like the little cemetery graveyard thing with the crypt. And it's just, it's towering. The church is towering over the whole village because I just thought for production design purposes I wanted to church to be like a very uh, you know center kind of attention thing usually you would have like a bell or something that would ring and people would know what kind of hour of day it is and if there's mass or something you know like lots and lots of different hangout spots and it took so much time but I really like it this is the tavern or inn or I don't know what to call it restaurant maybe and it has like this beautiful outside as well and inside it is more uh, cozy and with lots of wood and you know it's like kind of more like a pub or something like that and I just assumed it's like a really big chunky guy that is behind the bar or maybe a girl <laughs> and is like ha having this whole thing and yeah the smithery we just saw it like really really briefly i'm sorry that it was so quick it's sometimes it was really hard to do the video tour because all the houses are tiny and it's like there's so many little angles and it's like um, stuff there that then i think it's like you can't really see what's going on because it's like blocking so i had to be really careful with this video tour about how to show you how everything looks like and yeah I also think um, that uh, this is a very rewarding build for me and I really hope that you guys like it and definitely download this and you know use it because I usually never use it that much you know like I maybe play tests my builds once or twice if, if ever um, I usually just build and then move on to the next part here we are with the cafe that has more of a like a green bluish green thing theme going on but it's like really cute I really want to take like my coffee or tea there like look out so just town square so yeah these are all the shops coming up now so you can have a better look at all the shops on the inside because they are like a more prominent kind of thing at the town square uh, just so you know what's going on right now and yeah if you want to download this the download is free of course it is up on the sims 4 gallery and called little town but i will also put the download link in the video description down below so you can grab it there and uh, if you found anything weird here or if you are inspired now to build something yourself i'm really happy about this this is why i do these videos these are kind of like showcase videos um about my build so you can you, you know you just know what to download basically what you're getting if you download something and if it's inspiring you to build because some of you have put that in the comments that's so lovely that's basically what other video other people's videos do as well for me or like also other people's like screenshots and stuff and like oh this is so cool i wonder oh yeah i could i could do something similar maybe or maybe you know like it's it's something that definitely keeps keeps me going on build, building in the sims and playing the sims because yeah i really hope that you like it as well here's like assortment of how some of the interiors look like all of the townhouses are uh, fully furnished um some were a little bit too small to have like a bathroom but usually they have you know a little kitchen and like a bed and like a little bathroom um, i try my best to have them all kind of like furnished individually of course so you can 
you know what you're getting into and uh, yeah this is basically the whole build guys oh here we are with the flower shopkeeper house which has a little bit more flowers and of course a little garden in the with lots of different flowers in the backyard she's growing it herself and the inside is a little bit more pinkish with yellow and lots and lots of flowers of course and here we are how it looks like at night these are the last shots of the video and yeah look at this at night it looks so beautiful i was kind of very surprised when i hit the night mode button on build mode i was like oh this is beautiful oh, i could stay i did stare at it for quite like some time because i was just like this is so beautiful I'm, I'm definitely so proud of this build. I mean, it took so much time and like two weeks of my life, of my free time in my life, but it is kind of very beautiful. I'm really happy how it turned out. I really hope that this is something that you really like to see, that you can play in, that you can download for free. The link is in the video description down below. Here are some shots of it for those who want to rebuild it of course and want to recreate it and know what's going on where everything is a little map for you guys and yeah this is basically the end of the video i want to thank you so so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and are into sims 4 builds write me in the comments what i have to build next what you wish for and yeah that's basically it thank you so so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye